here is the dispatcher console it's the radio interface we have two master radios connected now you can transmit using one of them at once or two of them simultaneously you can use more radios to transmit simultaneously at once actually the number of radio radios is unlimited here is the context tree you can use the context menu for a subscriber you can make the request for presence in network request uh, the subscribers location on the map find subscriber on the Google Earth map show subscribers route on the Google Earth map for a set period send a message to the subscriber it can be a template message or you can type in your message send uh, call send call means uh, you can send subscriber a beep tone notifying on the dispatcher's call the remote monitor means uh, the subscriber's microphone is activated in a hidden mode so you can monitor the subscriber remotely disable radio means dis disabling a radio you can set the reason and click OK and the radio will be disabled. Set the reason, OK. And here the radio is disabled. You can enable a radio from the context menu. And now the radio has been added to the disabled radios list in the administer section. To disable the radio, just click enable, specify reason if necessary, and then click OK. So the radio has been enabled. We can make a private call to the radio from this actions pane. We can also send a message, remote monitor, and send call to a subscriber. S uh, we also have the TXPASIVE function, which helps transmit a voice message in the situation the channel is busy right now you see that the channel is busy but we can select a master radio to transmit the recorded message to for example master radio number two one or selected radios so selected radios means these checkboxes in the master radios windows or all master radios for instance, we select all master radios, th then click record, click start, and record a message to transmit. After we recorded a message, we click stop, and we have the message that notifies us. The, mes uh, the voice call will be initiated as soon as the channel is free. Now the channel is free, and here, here is the message we recorded. It's being transmitted. We also have the calls events log here it lists all the calls and all the events in the system we can select a call session and playback it just click playback and we'll we also can playback groups of call sessions just the same way clicking playback We can also monitor subscribers in the GPS position and tool. Uh, di different types of maps are supported, such as MapLib, MapPoint, Inget, and others. We can use uh, different maps in different tabs like this. We can also open maps in new window like this you select the map type exact map of that type then click OK and the map is opened in a new window we can drag it anywhere drag it to another display and use it some of the maps like maplib format maps and map point format maps support map objects and map regions here they are we can show or hide map objects and regions. 
the regions also support geofencing. Geofencing fencing means that dispatch a dispatcher can set rules for groups of subscribers or exact sub subscribers to enter or leave set regions and there is also an option function to control speed you just specify the region to apply the rule for the rule itself like control entering the regions or leaving regions and the radius to apply rule for if a radio leaves or enters a set region uh, the subscriber will get a message notifying on it and the dispatcher will also be notified with the system event and geofencing alarm uh, so the other tools are text messages tool which lists all the text messages in the system and gives the opportunity to send text messages to subscribers or groups the event logs which presents different types of events in the system uh, the reports and statistics tool which gives the opportunity to generate reports and system information and view these reports save it as PDF, HTML and so on and print it and the administer section gives the, the cap capability to administer the system like cross patch rules, database managing disabled radios list, the dispatchers list which lists dispatchers and their access rights and so on the master radios list which gives the properties for master radios their channels, available talk groups and so on the tasks like geofencing, SMS notifications, user activity lists and so on telemetry which allows configuring telemetry buttons giving them names and the severity and the radius list which enables adding, editing or removing radios and groups of radios for more information see other videos such as the administer section video and the cross patch video thank you